Hey guys, what's up? It's Lex and Courtney, and we're back again with another episode of The Pleasure's All Yours, where we just create a space for black and queer individuals to come and share and learn and you know just really focus on your own personal pleasure yes, the pleasure is really all yours. yeah that's like our whole thing you know peep the peep the title <laughs> <laughs> so as you can see if you're watching us on the youtube um kurt and i are basically in pajamas and that's okay today because Bad bitches have bad days, ba- bad days too. Yeah, you know? like bad bitches really do have bad days, and that's okay. And that's okay. So we're gonna skip our catch up today. And oh. I mean, unless you want, unless oh unless no you no have... no no, I think that's best. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So today, though, of all days, we do have a fun fact and a Reddit. Okay, we have one part of our lives together, well, you guys. Yeah, and that's really what um, what the main point of life is right now. Just do one good thing. Every <laughs> one good day. thing every day. Yeah, yeah. I agree. Um, but from when we're recording this, um, the day it releases, the next day is my birthday. Woo! So happy you birthday know. week. Yes, right. Um, it started. So you know we're gonna we're gonna do some fun things yeah. this week. It's gonna yeah. be a really exciting week. Yeah, <laughs> um, but this week's episode, we're talking about oral, aka cunnilingus, aka eating that pussy. Okay, okay. Which we like. We you know, love. We've had. We've had. Yes, absolutely. We've had a hand stuff episode. You know, might as well. Yeah. Yeah. So our fun fact today is actually like very interesting. I didn't know this. Um, did you know that your vagina? has so many like probiotic bacteria that it's almost the same as like a kombucha or a yogurt. The, kombucha. Yeah, we love kombucha. <laughs> <laughs> um, what but, do you mean? Uh, 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 up to 100,000 to 100 million lactobacillus. B- oh, lactobacillus. There yeah. we go, that mm-hmm. one. Um, cells per gram of vaginal fluid. So the serving size is 10 grams. 10 kilograms of pussy juice. Wow, that's a lot. 10 kilograms? <laughs> ten, wait, 10 kilograms? Because that's, that's, I feel like kilograms is like, you could weigh like a phone in kilograms. That's mm. kind of a lot of pussy juice. I don't know. Does it seem like a lot of pussy juice to you? I don't know. It doesn't seem like enough to Are me. Are you willing to drink Yeah. 10 kilograms? Absolutely. If it's coming straight from the source, yes. Can we weigh liquids this way? Or does it have to be in milliliters? Someone tell us in the comments because yeah. we don't care. <laughs> I know I care enough to know the answer, <laughs> like I do. But, but wow, okay. yeah, I was like, whoa, not my pussy being yogurt. Yeah, that's, it's good for you. It's healthy for you to eat. Yeah. I've I've heard this before, um, so like that's not surprising. I didn't know why it was particularly healthy, but I just figured. It's like breast milk, you know? It just knows what you need, (laughs) and then it, like, produces exactly what you need. Like, are you low on nutrients? Yes. Well, yeah, it definitely has, like, benefits. And it a lot of the – we can put the article I was reading. They were even saying, like, you know, it's good good to eat it because bacteria are good for you, the ones that are there. The good bacteria. Mm Mm-hmm. That's, you know, if this – also, probably better if this person is on probiotics. Mm-hmm. I recommend probiotics for any of the bad bitches listening to this podcast. Absolutely. It just makes you feel good. Like, it helps with bloating. It helps with taste. It helps with, like, lubrication. It's, like, all of that because it's just really replenishing your flora, which can be killed by a lot of acidic foods. So, if you drink a lot of coffee or eat a lot of, like, oils and fast food, then probiotics can, like, help combat that. And mm-hmm. keep your body at a neutral state. I love that. Gut health is very important. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. So Good fun fact. Yes. Thank you. That's kind of hot. Thanks. Yeah. <laughs> hey, we're just all trying to get our serving size, okay? 
I know I am. <laughs> wow. And the serving size is a lot, you yes. guys. So just, just feel free to fill, just fill her up. Yes. <laughs> okay. So kind of lingus. I just love that word. Mm-hmm. It's just, it's just such, I don't know. I it don't. It flows off the lips. It just sounds so nice. And it's such a fun activity to be doing. Um, so cunnilingus is the act of stimulating a vulva or clit with only your mouth. Okay. In case, you know, you didn't pick up on you that. You need a refresher. Yeah. So, you know, if you're all up in that mouth to cooch, cunnilingus, babe, that's it. But I do have some t- statistics just like every other episode, which always. I actually which I actually really love. Yeah. I don't know how I always end up stumbling upon these, but... It always happens somehow, you know? Um, but a, this guy, I, I forgot to write down what his name was, but he did a 16-year study mm-hmm. um, of different of 26 countries in the Americas, and only 38% of them were eating pussy. 38%? That's, I kind of think that was, that, that's what I would expect. Maybe, I thought it was a little higher than that. Yeah, wow. of tw- of the twenty six Americas, I was like, that is like, wow, that's a wow. Okay, I know that there are more women than that, so I'm like, dang. Yeah, I'm cultures just, are different. You yeah, know? I know, you know. Yeah. Um, and then a another study showed that forty three percent of young adults engage in um, oral sex, not even just cunnilingus. Uh, because there is no pregnancy, um, of and course. Safer. Yes, yeah. exactly. Um, some other reasons is just like being able to have sex without a condom, maintaining their virginity. They're just curious about sex, um, and is a very low STD rate. But they um, exist. They though. exist. You can definitely get an STD from oral. Um, just, just be safe out here, my nigga. Yeah, for real. Like. <laughs> Go get tested regularly. Mm -hmm. Every three months, Mm -hmm. if you are with multiple partners. Every six months, if you are with one person that you've been with for a long time and you are monogamous. And if you're not fucking anybody, then like... A year. Once a year. Yeah. Because you should still get it done. Because they lie dormant. Yeah, they do. You never know. You never know. And they'll usually do it at your annual appointment anyway. It's part of your insurance. Yes. You should be able to get it at least once a year. Mm -hmm. But, you know, the three and six months are definitely what's recommended by the CDC and CPJ. Absolutely. (laughs) I love it. Okay. Um, Wow. I just, I was, I actually thinking about like what I was reading and I wish I would have made like a part of this about the um, STD rate of oral because they literally were like, yeah, it's still possible. And so many people think that they don't. But also, dental dams aren't FDA approved, so you can't really find them anywhere. So you gotta order them online. Yeah, yeah, because you can't you can't get them in like a store with other condoms, mm-hmm. which I think is fucking weird. That's crazy. Yeah, um, <clears throat> a study in 2015 showed that 10 percent of people in the U.S. were disgusted by the thought of 10 percent. Yeah. That's how many people are in America? Three hundred million or something? That's three thousand people, girl. I don't know. <laughs> I don't even know why I'd be trying. You're the numbers. You're the numbers big over here. <laughs> I don't know. I'm thinking. I don't know, bitch. That's just that's a that, lot of people. Yeah. And like, what's your aversion to it? Maybe they're all gay men. That's the only ones they have. Maybe. <laughs> I just don't get it. I'm trying to put myself in a mental space where I would be disgusted with eating pussy, and I just, I can't imagine. Have you ever had a bad experience eating pussy? Uh, eating, performing cunnilingus. Um, there was, like, when I was a teenager, so I don't really, like, count it, yeah. I guess, but, like, when I was a teenager, there was this girl that I was talking to, and... I just was really, I just really was into eating pussy in high school. Like, I just was. Like, if you wanted to get your pussy ate and you, like, even were like, wink, wink, I was like, ooh. Not the class mouth. <laughs> but um, it was just really funny because she just, you know, it was like the one time I encountered a vagina that just wasn't pleasant. 
to smell it, taste, you know, it was beautiful to look at. But I was like, what's this? <laughs> what's this? Why is it already stinking? <laughs> I mean, you know, high school. Mm -hmm. Um, And that's literally what I said. I was like, you know, it's understandable. We're also children. Mm -hmm. So, like, it's fine. But, yeah, that's, like, really the only thing. I just really really enjoy it. Yeah. Like, I just really enjoy giving it. I enjoy getting it as well, but I would rather give it on any day at any occasion. Like, just be like, yo, could you? I'm like, pfft. I'm dropping everything right now, like absolutely. So, if you guys need any more reason to know that Lex is really like the number one partner over here, there you go. <laughs> I just, I'm coochie is good, okay? And I need, yeah, my serving size is the infinity symbol, so. <laughs> talking about <laughs> okay Ooh, yes okay <laughs> i just um, love seeing the moment click for you that yay, was really funny i love that that's cute you did fantastic yeah but yeah you really i know i know how much you enjoy it and i i love that for you mm-hmm. i love i like eating pussy i prefer to i like my hands i'm like a hand scout gotta so feel it just like to get my hands in it. That's my jam. Um, but, you know, there's nothing like a good slurp of derp. <laughs> Strap it in. Mm-hmm. That's what I just, Okay. Um, only 12, we, oh, we said 10% in the U.S. found coochie eating disgusting. Crazy. Crazy stuff. Only, only 12% were happy to do it. Wow. That's. 12% were happy to do it. Like, I want to do it. Like, yeah. I'm asking you, can I do mm-hmm. that? This just really is giving, like, heterosexual. That's what I put in in, in okay. uh, parentheses. Yeah. Must be straight people. Because that doesn't make any sense. Mm-hmm. I think they only I think they only really did this across heterosexual couples, which was very unfortunate. Because I was looking for some queer ones. Mm-hmm. And they just... They don't exist. It's it's more of like a cosmopolitan magazine article with like twenty five queer ways to be queer or whatever the fuck you know those solid, titles are saying solid article man yes yeah, some, <laughs> some shit like that um and fifteen percent of the of these twenty six we're still talking about the twenty six Americas by okay. the way um. 26% of them, sorry, I totally lost my whole point. 15% of them were indifferent. They felt indifferent about it in general. Okay, like, yeah, I guess so. Like, if I don't have to, cool. If I do, cool. Okay. I guess that's better than nothing. Mm-hmm. Kind of how I feel about sucking dick sometimes. Yeah, my jaw just get my jaw just starts hurting so quick, and I'd be embarrassed about at, how quickly. I at least, at least when you eat pussy, like you can use your lips, you can use your nose, you can use like. But I've heard that eating pussy could be uncomfortable. Like people talk about depending on your tongue size, people mm-hmm. talk about the that little uh, connecting thing under your tongue. Yeah, hurting after a while. I know. I I've had some partners experience that yeah now that you say that now i'm remembering my ex had that like she had a really small tongue like it didn't really come far out of her mouth yeah wow not a flashback (laughs) not in a good way (laughs) unpleasant (laughs) yeah so it can be uncomfortable i Mm -hmm. guess either way Mm -hmm. but i think i if i think i prefer eating pouchois over sucking some some good penis yeah i don't know i think it's more comfortable for and me. you can you can also i don't know like the I positions like, are different too yeah i also like feeling coochie grip like when it flexes when you eat it you know it makes that like you know maybe i haven't noticed that oh, okay yeah i know what you mean like the thighs like the squeezing of the head like a mm-hmm. watermelon is always no, but, but like, like the what like the vaginal opening yeah 
like if you have your if you have your like if you have your whole face on there and your chin is just like resting right up against it you can usually feel the pussy clench while you eat that's like one of my favorites wow that's one of my i've favorites. never tried that mm-hmm. i would try to play for my children <laughs> I'm fabulous fabulous okay and uh 17 percent of these people were fearful of the act because they lack the know-how on how to do it and that's okay that is okay you know are you seeking the information that's a good one that is the real question Mm -hmm. because you if you don't learn how are you gonna learn you Mm -hmm. know practice makes perfect truly 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 Mm -hmm. okay you got to learn your person too because especially with um puse everything is just so different Mm -hmm. you know like per person yeah. Maybe they're they're not shaped. Nobody looks the same, so of course yeah. nobody feels the same down there. So what mm-hmm. works for somebody like might not work for somebody else. Yeah. Um, the next little fact that we have, I actually really keep this fact lives like at the forefront. It's probably like a sign in my little happy place. It's probably in the front yard, you know, mm-hmm. just so everybody that passes by knows this because I say this so often on a week to week basis. Um. Compared to the 38% of women that receive, that can have an orgasm with only penetration, 38%, 73% of women will experience an orgasm with oral. Okay, that makes sense. That's a big fucking jump. Yeah, that's a huge okay. jump. It's listen, a lot focused on the outside. Listen to what I'm saying to you. <laughs> Tell me. I just say this all the time because I li- literally even at my job the other day, this guy came in. And he was talking about, like, his wife and how, like, you know, he just wants to be able to keep up with her and stuff. And I was saying, you know, you have to be able to have sex without also having penetration. And he was so confused by that. Like, his whole face twisted up into a question mark. He was like, what do you mean? And I was like, sex just isn't penetration, you know? I was like, of course she feels like she needs more after you guys are done because, you know, foreplay, was it there? did she even have get to have her orgasm before you had yours mm-hmm. you know i'm like are you lasting long enough and if you're not lasting long enough are you still making time to focus on what she needs and wants as a person because a recovery time is a thing and then he was like well you know afterwards you just get so tired and i was like yeah but if you endurance you know it if you push through, if you do that shit, you will get used to doing that shit. Yeah, and also you'll—I feel like you'll perk up. You will. That's perk how up. you really continue things, even if you do. If like you're a quick ejaculator, I don't know why I keep using French to make things sound better today. <laughs> but um, if like yeah, if you do come pretty quickly, then that is a good time to focus on them, and then you'll find mm-hmm. yourself being able to get back up and do and more boom, things, again. and like that's how you like create a night bitch of. you better drink a bang energy drink and or get a pill like or that too what's, yeah. there's nothing wrong with a little pill like it's just a little a- a- extra oomph for what you already have going on yeah absolutely so that's what i always say they said 73 percent of women that do do have experienced cunnilingus have orgasm mm-hmm. from cunnilingus mm-hmm. okay yeah yeah i mean i i do think that there's people out there that don't like cunnilingus um, I have met people that don't really like it, but the the one person I've actually talked to about it, she just felt really weird about her genitals. So she just wasn't, she just was like, I just, you know, she wanted to get one of those labiaplasties. Oh, wow. How old yeah. was she, our age? Yeah, no, I went to high school with her. Oh, um, nice. I thought her vagina was gorgeous. She showed it to me and I was like, this is so pretty. I'm like, she's like, but... You know, she just didn't like how her lips were. But I was like, your your pussy looks like a flower. Like, it yeah. looks so pretty, you know? That's a really good place to look at. Yeah. But I also, yeah. you know, want to respect women that choose to of alter course. their bodies to make them feel better or to make... The, I, I respect it. I respect mm-hmm. it, but I feel like every vagina is a beautiful vagina. Absolutely. Because it's so unique. Mm-hmm. It's like opening up a surprise box every time you say <laughs> What am I gonna get? What, which chocolate is this for? What am I gonna get? Love it. Okay, so believe it or not, there are some benefits to cunnilingus. There was only three that I could find that sounded reputable, you know, okay. because them other ones I was like, mm, I don't know. 
that sounds a little off, but yeah. the first one is going to be lower risk of endometriosis and pelvic inflammatory diseases and their other counterparts because of everything that's moving, like how much you're, you contract whenever this is happening because of the constant clitoral stimulation, mm -hmm. you know, it's mm -hmm. always has those muscles moving, mm -hmm. I guess. Um, yeah, I was like, wow, that's interesting. I was reading that part of the article and I was like, wow. So you're telling me you, you just need to eat more pussy. Like you need to get, just get your pussy ate more. Like, yeah. So, okay. This is for people yeah. receiving cunnilingus. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and then some other benefits would be, of course, we already said it just makes sex last longer. I feel like, you know, coochie usually can go for a while. Mm -hmm. And if you're, if you're prep, prepping it correctly, I just think that would be, you could really get some shit rocking. Yeah. Okay. Absolutely. This is how lesbians have, lesbians and queer individuals have sex for so long because I said that to that man too. I was like, I don't know about you, but I like to have sex all night. And he was like, well, you know, girls can have sex all night. And I was like, yes, but I too get tired. Yeah. My jaw also gets tired. My arm, have your you ever fingers, had, your wrist? not even like, no one ever talks about the outer arm burn, the outer arm and the back tricep burn oh, wow. from back fingering. Tricep. Bitch, the back of my arm be burning, whole front part of, I'm like, God. and then this arm is fine because I'm right-handed, bitch. <laughs> I'm like, wow, I just can't believe this is my life currently. It I is feel also like, a workout. I feel like I've been in the gym burning calories and shit. Yeah, it is a workout for a giver. Yeah, I don't know. Whatever. Get sweaty. Anyways, great for sexual arousal for everyone involved. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you've ever eaten a pussy before. But <laughs> it'll get some shit shaken for sure. For sure. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, so what do you think for, like, in terms of benefits outside of ones that I listed, what other ones do you think that there could be from? For either giving or receiving? Yeah, whichever one. Um, I think it's for re both, I think for both parties, mm -hmm. especially if you guys are t in a monogamous relationship or just in a, in a committed intimate relationship that it's just, it can increase intimacy with your partner because it's so, it's such a, like a close act. Like your face is just so close mm -hmm. and like you're just really wrapped around them mm -hmm. that it can help create like a, a different kind of connection. Yeah. And then it also gives you an opportunity to like communicate mm -hmm. with each other about what, you know, your partner that's receiving likes and what they don't like. So I think it could just be a really good relationship builder, basically. Yeah. You know what I mean? I like how intimate it usually feels in like that way where like it's like face, pussy, arms touching or hands holding or something like that, you know, like and the varying pressures of hands and legs and yeah, it's just like like one long body. Yeah, it literally just feels like you're like just moving because you're moving with the person that you're pleasuring and they're just really enjoying the ride you know and it just feels like such a service to me yeah like i just I, I hate to compare everything to what is the word fellatio that's the word fellatio yeah to, I, to compare everything to fellatio but it's just like it seems like so much more of like a like a service of like adoration like a thing that you're doing because you want to like see this person feel so good mm -hmm. and then it like in a different way in a like a selfless way mm -hmm. i just love that it just feels like a selfless act because you just have to like smother your face in it so yeah. you just can't you can't breathe you know what i mean you can't fucking breathe and that's okay. but it doesn't matter it doesn't matter i will drown here literally i will drown here just i'll just gulp it drown it's fine you do you ever pussy juice in your nose mm. like at pussy juice that, in your nose okay i can't say that i feel like i would have to take a second i'd be like okay uh, no here i guess i guess because i don't know i used to just watch so much like lesbian porn when i was a teenager you know and i remember there was this one video i saw in particular and after like after they were done they were like you know when they like sit and they had their cute little interview at the end she was like i've just never had pussy juice so far up my nose 
And I was like, wow, I want to live that life. <laughs> okay, well, what's your favorite position to eat pussy in? I like to, I like, oh, fuck. God damn. This is bad. Um, I like either, I think my number, my first one that's coming to mind is having my face sit, sat on. That's my favorite. I just love that, like sit it on me thank you very much or like i am a huge off the edge of the bed sitting on a something holding legs also that is also one of my favorites that's more of like a whenever i think of doing that one that's more of like if i'm doing this for me because mm-hmm. i because <laughs> i want to see what's going on down there you know and I feel like when I have women ride my face, it's more of like, I want you to do this for you, not for me. Oh, but like, okay. it is for okay. me, though. It's mostly for me, obviously. Yeah, but right. I just know you're going to do what you need to do. Okay. Yeah. I get it. Yeah. That's great choice. It just, it benefits both. It does. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What about you, What's, What a fun experience. Um, I think my favorite to receive is is probably to sit on some pussy. Yeah. I just feel so in control. And I, just like, <laughs> I just like knowing that I, I you're you're if gonna you're be gonna there. if you're gonna die, I'm gonna kill you. I'm right really now. about to kill you. <laughs> and like I, oh my god, I just like gripping hair or heads or like anything. Just like I, if you got it, I'm gonna grip it. And that's how I am with booty too. If you got it, I'm gonna grip it. Don't matter what kind of nigga you are. I'll grip a hood nigga's butt. <laughs> Those really are the ones will. that be having them. Too. That's so true. It's like, why are you walking around with all of this ass? For what reason? But anyway, yeah, I really like to sit on faces because I just really feel in control. And I can, like, I feel like I'm really good at making myself orgasm. Yeah. So I can kind of just control my movements enough to make myself orgasm, like, over and over and over and over and over again. Until okay. then, like, you're, like, choking and I'm like, okay. If you die, you die, though. You signed a, a liability waiver. Listen, as long as somebody knows CPR, I feel like it'll be fine. You know? Um, and then <laughs> giving. Um, I feel like I'm a, I actually, I feel like I don't have a lot of, like, different experiences of, like, positions of eating poosh that I can think of right now. Mm-hmm. I like a good, I like a good 69 mm-hmm. because I can see everything and then I feel it and then I just I like both at the same time so I'm gonna say 69 okay love mm-hmm. that yeah other than that I'm a pretty basic bitch I throw your thighs up throw them wide when I'm in the bed but th- and then your back be hurting you know after yeah. a while so but that's why I also like the on the end of the bed sitting on a something or like on the end of a couch like so you can floor. be here for a while. So, yeah, you know, and you know, if I if I'm really I think I've only ever done this maybe like once or twice now that I'm thinking about it. And it's actually one of my favorites. Sometimes if I'm eating pussy on the couch, I will like hands and knees in front of pussy. Truly at your service. Because I want you to feel it. Okay? Yeah. Cuz I'm really here like I, I'm here for what's here and I just need you to know. <laughs> Um, okay, and I guess now we can talk pro tips from the pros. I feel like you've been giving a lot of pro tips this whole fucking episode. If you guys don't get it, then you didn't get it. Hey, you know, we're just going to keep going with them, I guess. Yes. Um, first one, I like the way that this article phrased this, and I will be using this in my sales tactics, so everybody watch out. Sales tactics? Yeah. Okay. To sell your, yourself? To sell my dicks. Mm. Oh, oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> um, communication is lubrication. Mm. Wow. I like that. Yes. <laughs> as soon as I read that, I was like, no, this is perfect. It's going. Communication is lubrication. You know, you're going to be wetter if your partner is doing what you, exactly what you want them to do, but they're not going to know that if you're not telling them. So just be like, yo, move a little to the right, softer, harder, slower, faster, weight, you know? 
don't take it personally. Don't. Like, don't be like frustrated because you're not getting it because they're trying to help you get it yeah. so that it can be a good experience and now you know what to do. And then once you, once you start really figuring it out, especially if this is someone that you like consistently have sex with, mm-hmm. once you start figuring it out, then it's almost like every time. And then what gets, what's the good part is when they just go right to the spot. They just start doing the thing just how you like it. And you're like, can you give me a second? <laughs> you didn't even have to work me up to it. You give me a it. minute. You you got to give me a minute. You know, we love a good macaroni and cheese sound every time. Okay. So another pro tip. Don't just go and put your face in there. Okay. At least this is a pro tip from Lex's point of view. Put your face in there if that's what you're feeling. I, on the other hand, am like a tease her then please her kind of bitch. So like, you know, I like to kiss on thighs and lips. And I remember there was once that I was teasing this this person so much to the point where like I was just sort of whispering, not whispering, I was just softly talking to them, but hovering over their pussy and they came like that bitch. by the vibrations of your voice and the whispers bitch. and the like wow. the blows of like wow and like just like my lips just like sort of grazing softly yeah because their clip was like poking out i'm a i'm a te- i like to tease so tease the is pussy good whispering yeah <laughs> literally so tease is good um kisses like sucking licks you know you don't have to tease her till she's like crying or until writhing until she's having an orgasm with whispers but you know like build up the anticipation build up the anticipation just, and then put yeah. your face in there because that'll really be like because then when you put your face in there that's when you get that oh my god moment you know yeah. <laughs> yes okay and then i oops another additive to that i say the same thing you would do to like um a clit when you first start licking it is usually what you should do to nipples so the same way you do to nipples like you don't just go straight to a nipple and start sucking the shit out of it no i don't I yeah i was <laughs> like no, I don't. you don't just go right up to it and start sucking the shit out of it. you like lick it a little you know do a little kissy kissy around. a light sucking maybe a nibble like a, you know yeah you, you would do the same thing to a coochie that is another tip i can add to that um focus on the clit not in like a with everybody with everybody is different so again communication is lubrication everybody's gonna like a different kind of stimulus like i am i like a light into a firm back into a light back into a firm okay like light firm Mm -hmm. like a good balance of both Mm -hmm. and what what do you think is the orgasm the orgasm is the firm okay so if you're like i'm about to come then they should just do it like firmly yeah okay yeah usually if i if i say i'm if i say i'm about to come then whatever you're doing in that moment just keep doing that thing because my brain is really focused on the thing that you're doing. So the second you deviate from what you're mm-hmm. doing, now I'm going to be like, am I about to go? I thought I was. Yeah, then the battery goes down a little bit and you got to bring it back up. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah. Yes. She said a light to firm, light to firm. I like a good, it's like uh, the repeat button. Oh, yeah. On some of the, like mm-hmm. the, those original rabbit toys have yeah. those, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Exactly. Ooh, what are the, like the triple pin, mm-hmm. which I think is every time somebody brings that up, I'm like, does your partner know that you're bringing this to them? Like, yeah. it's always like some like older man. It's and always like, an older man. And I'm like, do they phone. really want triple? That's a lot to me. I will say though, a lot of older women like those triple stimulator rabbits. Okay, those are usually who I sell them to. Okay, I like the okay. older women That's or their husbands enough. coming in. Um, the old, older women are really, they seem really curious about the whole anal aspect. Mm-hmm. So I sell like people our age are also really curious about it, but they already know that they like it because we're fucking freaks mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. just, it's a lot of older people that are just getting into it. They're like, wow, I just had my first 
anal orgasm or you know my my girlfriend was telling me about this and i'm just really interested in it mm-hmm. or something like that you mm-hmm. know which i think is absolutely fabulous yeah but um yeah you'd be surprised on the because one thing i pay attention to is who's buying what and like what demographic in, what demographic yeah, it is yeah absolutely and yeah older women really like the rabbits they like the butt stuff and um they're always looking for like rings for their for their mm-hmm. men to mm-hmm. keep their men hard you know i mean naturally yeah okay back to the topic Sorry. at hand it's okay Sorry. um slow this this was um this was also another name that they called an activity in an article and it was called a slow job which is just like the same thing that you do. You just do it slower. Um, yeah, bitch. Which I feel like plays into teasing, though. I feel like that sort of goes into the same yeah. boat. Just taking your time, mm-hmm. not rushing anything. Yeah, yeah. okay. Um, but I like the name. Yeah, slow job. Slow job. Give me a slow job. I love it. Okay. Um, I also say compliment your partner's genitals. Love Tell that. them that they're pretty. Tell, Tell them that, that they, they taste, taste good. good. <laughs> 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 Tell them that they look good, you know, like tell them that they feel good, mm. you know? Oh my god. I I like whispering little things like that. Like that really cuz I just need you to know I'm salivating here. Yeah. And I like to know that I'm being salivated as well. Yeah, somebody has to do it. I, I, I think that I just really like to know that you want to be eating my pussy. Yeah. I don't want you to eat my pussy because you like are like you feel like it's necessary in order for me to suck your dick or like anything like Do that. it because but you want do to. Do it because you want to. Yes. I love that. Honestly, just the thought sometimes will get me to the point where I'm at least gushing on your face. I love that. Fantastic. So. Love it. Gushy gushy. um let's see um the next one is it's okay to moan bitch bitches be tasting good pussy tastes good it's a fun time having a good time you know yeah it's okay to moan yes while you're eating are you eating is that what you're saying yeah Yeah. and it's like a and it's like a vibration even like from your mouth and everything yeah Usually, I don't know. You can usually feel when somebody starts like humming and the coochies. I feel like, yeah, yeah. Okay, so yeah. you know, add a little something, something to it. Yeah. Um, eye contact. Look a bitch in the face. Hello. Yes, you look fantastic. You taste even better. Yeah. Good job. Thanks. Look me in the eye. <laughs> and be like me. Grip, grip the head. Grip the head. Put it where you want to put it. Mm-hmm. I hope you guys are watching YouTube. Cause <laughs> yeah, grip the head and don't be afraid to like really ride. Yes, it. like even if you're on your back, like yeah. arch your, however you need to get this moot or mm-hmm. to just feel the experience more, get deeper, do it. Because you know what? At the end of the day, they're already down there, so they probably want to be down there and yeah. just give them the whole experience. And if they it. need a second, if they need a sec to breathe, you know, they'll figure it out. I am like, I, you know, I still, I'm working on not, I don't have any shame. I do not have shame at all about mm-hmm. like what I do when I'm, when I climax. Okay. Mm-hmm. But I do feel like it can be a little um, inconvenient for people <laughs> because <laughs> because it, it's, it's inconvenient for me sometimes and it's like you have to put the towel down and you got to get new sheets and like if you're with somebody that wasn't really expecting you to do all that it can be kind of embarrassing for me because I'm like well shit I know that this was really good and I'm showing you how great it was but now you have to do all this other things these other things now to like clean up Mm-hmm. And like it's you know what I, do you know what I mean yeah or like it's all over your chest like I just I don't know I get I get in my thoughts about that mm-hmm. even though I know that most people are like yes please like do it because it's like such a fucking like thing it's a fantastic thing yeah. absolutely yeah yeah so it's okay to feel shame but also fuck these niggas yeah it's like these hoes it's just I mean I would. They should be saying thank you if you ask me. Just being like, what are they doing now? So we said eye contact. Mm-hmm. Okay, another good one. 
which I'm just partial to because sugar, vagina, not good together, but there are oral gels. Some of them just taste like something. Um, so if you do have like an aversion to like the taste, even if it's not like the person, even if it's just like your personal thing, mm -hmm. you know, whatever, mm -hmm. you just have an aversion to it, try some oral gels. If you want to just enhance the oral experience. like experience in either way, there are some that tingle, there's some that warm, you know, they have like different sensations to them. So you can always, you know, enhance it that way. And my last pro tip was something that I want to try. I'm adding it to the top of my list is um, the Kiven method. Okay. I don't know who Kiven is, but obviously he knew what the fuck he was doing. He was also a pussy whisperer. He was a pussy whisperer. And I don't know how I haven't done this, but I am going to um, make a disclaimer that your nerve endings in your clit are best stimulated side to side and not up and down. So I understand why this is a good method, but it's basically eating coochie horizontally okay. instead of like being face to face with it going up and down. It's literally like turning yourself to the side and doing the same thing, but from the side. Wow. Like, like almost like your lips are like matching lips. Yeah. Basically. Yeah. Wow. Mm hmm. That's really interesting. How yeah. what, what what positions do you would, would should that like I, how do you get into those positions? I'm thinking right off the bat. Um, I know like your usual missionary would work, but like instead of being laying in front of them, sort of like lay horizontally on them, like lay over their tummy. You know. Oh, okay. Yeah, so yeah, lay yeah. over their tummy Coming from the side. Yeah, from yeah. the side like that. Um, I think even like legs closed knees to chest spread that way i think that would also be really good um <laughs> that one would be really good <laughs> i can see all of these. that would be good um so yeah that that would be what i would suggest two two of them really that's really interesting mm -hmm. wow <laughs> let me know whenever you try it absolutely yeah. and then the kiven method the you kiven guys. method write it down mm -hmm. add it to your list I said that was the last one, but the actual last one is also making sure you make out. Make out after you taste pussy, after you eat pussy. Share the love. love. Sharing is caring. Okay? Can you feel it? Can you feel the love? Wow. I You really hit all the pro tips. I'm like, you hit all the pro tips. Mm -hmm. And I just feel like you always do a really good job of educating our fans and yeah. our listeners on shit like this especially when it's my favorite things yeah you like you're so knowledgeable <laughs> i'm like wow i didn't even know these things wow i, I thought i was like i thought it was pretty okay i thought it was solid mm -hmm. but now i feel like i can be like i could go to the next level i just love that for you yeah i appreciate just it just let me upgrade you yeah <laughs> that's what i'm saying <laughs> okay <laughs> Okay, um, so the next thing we're going to talk about is hygiene, not only for the receiver, but the giver as well. Um, I mean, receiver, of course, you want to make sure you shower, bathe, however you keep clean that way, get tested, um, you know, what, like, I guess, watch what you eat, drink lots of fluids, that's the main water, one, lots of water, um, yeah, and that that's like the main thing for a give for the receiver. Mm -hmm. That's mainly it, you know. Mm -hmm. You have hair on your coochie. If you weren't supposed to have hair there, it wouldn't grow there. If you, I don't know. And coochie has a smell to it. It has a smell. It has regardless, a taste. even yeah, if you're the, vegan and mm -hmm. blah 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 blah, it's just it's gonna have a smell to it. It's all gonna have a different smell and a different taste, and that's okay. There's nothing wrong with that. And don't let someone make you feel weird about your taste or smell unless there's like something actually wrong with you like unless there's something actually wrong with you if you know that you what you have right like your discharge level your smell level mm -hmm. all that stuff is normal it's you're not itchy then chances are and it's repeated chances are they're just an asshole 
you know, but when you start to see those changes within you, like mm-hmm. the, the dis- just, I would say discharge is like the main one. Just yeah. watch your discharge and watch your own smell that you're noticing throughout your day, like not just after sex. Yeah. And then, you know, get it checked out. But Coochie has a smell and it smells delicious 99.97% of the time. Yeah. Wow. Absolutely. Just love it. You're doing exactly what you should be doing. You're doing great. Yes. Um, oh, something else. Do not douche your cooch. Closest, like, uh, fastest way to uh, infecting. Yes. Your pussy is a self-regulator, so it literally has its own acidity level and things like that. It keeps itself clean. It's like the fish tank. It's like a fish tank, but, you know, not a fish tank. An oven. Yeah. Self clean yeah, oven. oven. I like that better. I don't like the fish tank one. Never mind. <laughs> it's a little Scratch too that. like nail on the head. Yeah, right. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's like a self cleaning oven for sure. You don't really have to do much to her besides like keep her clean. You don't have to put any soaps or anything on her or anything like that. Um and uh let's see. What's the other one? For the giver, you know, make sure you're brushing your teeth, flossing, mouthwash those little quick disposable toothbrush thingies however you take care of your dental health you Mm -hmm. know make sure you are doing that Mm -hmm. um i know it gets hard for these for your depressed bitch i completely understand you know mouthwash though that at least helps Mm -hmm. um and i didn't know this but they say you should wait at least two hours like no more than two hours before actually going to give oral to someone because you can still get like um, uh, cuts on your gums or anything like that. And you don't want to like ha- be bleeding in your mouth. Same mm-hmm. with flossing mm-hmm. um, and mouthwash because you don't want it to like uh, loosen up anything that is mm-hmm. already in there. So so like if you're going to do it, at least do it two hours before actually engaging in said Oh, wow. That's oral so interesting. Sex. Yeah. Yeah. Like kind of like your pores. Like you don't want to open up your pores and then have a bunch of stuff all. Exactly. Yeah. I was very surprised. I was like, wow, I didn't, I didn't, I did. I mean, it makes sense because you know, if you're you, you floss, sometimes you do get your gum or something you like cut that. A little mm-hmm. bit, a little micro tear. Mm-hmm. Just like when you're getting waxed, how they tell you wait 24 hours so that all your shit can seal back up so yeah. that you're not getting all somebody else's skin cells and bacteria and stuff into that wow i have never i'm pretty sure i have walked straight out and vice versa like have definitely you know like like hop up like let me go brush my teeth real quick we just had indian food because have you have you ever done that oh my god i've had i've had oh my god have you ever gotten fingered with habanero hands oh my fucking god like even when you think you got it out you really Mm -hmm. you really didn't because we ate and then like we waited and maybe like an hour. I'm pretty sure he brushed his teeth, but it's just like all that s- the spices that are still like stuck in your gums if you're not flossing, all the pepper flakes. I don't know, dude, but I was, I was on fire. It felt like I had one of one of those uh, honey pot pads. Oh no, bitch. No, I literally, yeah, I've I've had like my partner go and make a food, and she uses a lot of like peppers and mm-hmm. stuff in the food. And yeah, like then we'll just not be thinking about it, go to have sex. And I'm like, are your hands, did she wash your hands? She's like, yeah, I did. And I'm like, I'm on fire. Like I, if I could reach inside and take my pussy off my body and like stick it in the freezer right now, I would. That's what I feel like right now. Oh my God. Yeah. It's yeah. terrible. Awful. Um, and something else, if you can get a hold of them, if it is possible, dental dams are pretty good for if you're just trying to overall be um, uh, or orally safe mm-hmm. whenever you Extra are in, yeah, engaging with other people. Or if you're a sex worker. Or if you're a sex worker and you still want to give the full experience, because I understand, you know. Um, for some reason, people think that sex workers aren't safe. But they're the safest of people having sex because it is a job that they have to do. And if they do, like, who's going to pay? They're not going to get, they don't get paid leave. Yeah. Come yeah. on. Yeah. And a lot of people, a lot of these companies require, you know, their mm-hmm. workers to get tested. Yeah, so. exactly. Um, yeah. So mm-hmm. now we're going to move into the segment where 
I have some questions for Court and Lex. Oh, okay. Ooh. I love answering questions. I'm so long-winded. Okay. <laughs> okay, so what are some of your favorite positions to... Oh, well, we already talked about that. To eat pussy or to get eat or to get eaten in or what are some ones that you would like to try okay definitely Mm -hmm. i definitely want to try like um actually i've had it done before but i want to like really intensely again i haven't had it in a while um like on my side with my thighs closed like this Mm -hmm. you know but you get a little peek of your little pussy oh yeah yeah. and then you then it like transfers into like getting eaten from the back because sometimes that shit bangs that shit bangs (laughs) bang bang (laughs) yeah i love it what about you um, what would you want to try? What would I want to try? Um, I don't know. I'm trying to think. I uh, I wrote this outline. You think I would have more thought on this? I always say I want to try getting my pussy eaten standing standing up, but I just don't think that would go very well. But I also like the look of the like the videos I've seen, and it's mm-hmm. usually someone standing up. They're usually leaning on a wall or something. And sometimes they have their leg up on something, but most of the time they just have their legs spread. And then it's like they have someone's head in their hands and they're literally like riding their face like that. That just sounds so good. And like looking down and seeing that. Oh, my God. Have you ever like been riding someone's face and you see residual wet while you're moving? Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. That's why I fuck with beards. (laughs) Flavor saver. (laughs) (laughs) The work is on your face. Yes, exactly. Okay, so um, I liked this question because I thought it was cute. How would you describe your pussy pleasure style? How I pleasure pussy? Mm, either how you pleasure it or how you like yours. Okay. Either Whichever one. I like my pussy pleasure via, like, like pressure, if that makes sense. Like, mm-hmm. I like to experience a lot of pressure, so I want to be, like, on. I need somebody on me. I want to feel your whole hand or your whole face face on me i want to feel like your whole tongue on me pushing on me like weighing me down so i would say that pressure is my pussy style for receiving okay and i would say oh my god it's kind of hard like what is it when when i give Mm -hmm. um uh, eager to please okay i think like yeah, I think I would say eager to please. More just like I just really want. I really just I want. I like, I like making sure you get there. Yeah, like, like the more I see you getting there, like the more I get into it. The excitedness yeah. as it happens. Yes, exactly. Love okay, yeah. love that. I hope love that, that makes sense. What it about did. you? Um, I think my the way I like my pussy pleasured is more of a like. If I really had it my way, it takes longer, which is why it's such an issue. I'm so impatient. But like soft, like the soft light flicks on my clit is like fantastic. Love it. Love it. I literally feels like I'm coming out of my body. It just takes so long and I'm just not patient enough sometimes. And so I'm like, I'm like, it's fine. I don't need that right now because either way, I'm about to have an orgasm. Yeah. That it's gonna happen gonna either help, way. But exactly, but that's the, their favorite process. Yeah, but not everybody has patience for that either. Or the tongue strength. Yeah, but it's worth a shot. It's and, worth a shot. And anyone who's lucky enough to be dominant should be giving it a shot. <laughs> just, you know, just for next time. Um, do you think that there are any common misconceptions about? coochie or eating coochie yeah that it causes like cancer like I, yeah i heard that like what? what's his name will the, is this is it william douglas i hope i don't, I I don't douglas. Like, say this man's name but like some like white actor who always like re, like was very vocal about eating like coochie mm-hmm. he ended up getting throat cancer and like people were saying it was because he was eating all this coochie oh my and, god and like and it's like you know i've heard the rumor before that like that that can cause things and i'm just I don't know if there's any any proof to that, but I feel like it's a common misconception, and I think it is. There's a war mm-hmm. on pleasure right now, and that is one of the propaganda 
uh, tactics <laughs> that they use to perpetuate the war on female pleasure or like female uh, orgasm. Just awful. Absolutely yeah. awful. Yeah. I would say that one. Um, I personally cannot think of any misconceptions other than like, well, I guess my main one is a pussy is not a penis. So I've had literal, like, it's usually men that do this, that will literally like vacuum suck on your pussy. Friend. Like they're trying to get it off the bone my friend you have to start somewhere and you can't just start it there (laughs) you just can't you just can't maybe like a suck and pop you know as like a teasing habit as like a teasing tactic i do like that a good on a on a bitch absolutely i'll give you about five times you know (laughs) varying degrees it depends but not just straight Fucking what's that what's the vacuum thing off Teletubbies? Vacuum. But I know what you're talking about. Yeah, like calm down. Um and do you have any ways, Courtney, that people can make oral last longer that you think that could be incorporated into what they have going on? Um, switching up positions of the oral Mm -hmm. in between. Um, taking time to come back up and kiss Mm -hmm. and like, you know, touch on other parts of their body and Mm -hmm. make out with other parts of their body. Mm -hmm. And mm, I would say, yeah, like that's what I would do. I Mm -hmm. can't think of any way to like prolong the act of your, my, my, your tongue on my pussy because I'm going to come when I'm going to (laughs) come. But either way, (laughs) but definitely like just adding some versatility to the different positions and, making sure you're not just focusing on the vulva, that you get all the other crevices and and, um, and erogenous zones that exist mm. because it's really just going to increase. Like, every time then you go back to the, the pussy after you've been, like, kissing on their neck or they just tasted themselves, it's just going to, like, make everything so much more heightened. And, like, mm-hmm. yeah, that's... You, you, you always want to try to make a bitch squirt. And you really got to take your time. That's true. It's about taking your time. It's about coming back to the coochie after you've been having sex, like in between. Mm-hmm. Take a break. Eat it. You never know what could come out, literally. <laughs> but it's not just going to happen if you're just doing the same thing in one position. And Yeah. Like, you know, you can probably orgasm like that. But I don't know. For me, it's a buildup. Like, it has to be a buildup. Yeah. I need to be on different parts of the bed multiple times in different ways. If that makes sense. Yeah. Before you feel like you fulfilled what you need to do. No, I guess. I don't know. I don't know. When it comes to like me giving, I just, I'll stay here until you tell me to leave. Like, that's it. Until you say, uncle, that I'm sorry. I'm just going to figure out different ways. But for me, I'm more of like a, I want, I, as long as the position we're in, I can see you eating my pussy. That's all I care about. Okay. Yeah. It's not, and it's not more, it's not really a necessity for me either. Because usually while I'm eating pussy, I'm touching my own. So it's, it's not like it's a huge thing. I get so much satisfaction from just doing it, you know, but the whole point of this episode is to eat my pussy. Yes. At the end of the day. We are pro pleasure. Yeah. And there is a war on pleasure. So eat some pussy, man. Save uh what is that? Save a what? Ride a cowboy. <laughs> Save a horse, mm-hmm. ride a cowgirl. Yeah, something like that. <laughs> well, we do have a Reddit to wrap up this lovely little episode. Woo, not a Reddit question. Oh my god. It's been like hard on this life that we've been living. Okay. So I just thought this was funny, and I thought that the answer, um, <laughs> I thought the answer was funny as well. But okay, it says, and it didn't. It said anonymous, so I don't really know who this is. So sorry, but it says sorry if this is explicit. I will try my best to keep this PG. Why? Um, is it safe for my boyfriend to come while I deep throat him? He really wants this, and I'm not against it. I'm worried about having come go into my windpipe. 
and not being able to breathe afterwards or choking really bad. When we when we deep throat, which hole does it go down anyway? Thanks. Sorry if this was explicit. Reddit never ever ceases to surprise me with <laughs> the questions on that bitch because what what hole does it go down? <laughs> And somebody said, just obviously don't breathe because nobody wants to aspirate cum. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> but I think that it's very safe. I actually recommend to do that when your partner's coming. If they if they expect you to, get like, um, if they expect to come in your mouth, that's the best way to do it. Because put then it you don't the, have to taste it. Put it all the way. You don't have to feel it, like, the consistency. Most of the, most of the time, and most of the time you're breathing through your nose anyway. Mm, while you're doing so... That. Yeah, but yeah, most of the time you're breathing through your nose anyway. I've only had that happen to me like maybe two or three times. It's always a very interesting feeling because you don't have to swallow, but you know something just went down your throat, so it's weird. And then he, if he fixates too hard, you think about all the little tiny ones that are just And like, now it feels like your throat's all slimy. And now it feels like there's something in your throat. You're like, oh no, I feel I'm this pregnant. child in my throat <laughs> right now. My Adam's apple was a fucking uterus this <laughs> <laughs> yes you can absolutely do that anonymous child on reddit yes but there was someone who clarified um is that when you deep throat it does go down your esophagus to your stomach but not your trachea mm -hmm. if it gets into your trachea and into your lungs that's when you'll have a problem mm -hmm. then your lungs will get pregnant <laughs> wow can you imagine <laughs> Alien style. Oh no. <laughs> and with that, do you have anything else to say? No. For this episode? No, that's it. Um, happy birthday to Lex. Yes, happy birthday. Happy birthday, birthday to Lex. Lex. You know, I know. <sighs> happy birthday to Lex, okay? <laughs> that's it. We're gonna do some shit to celebrate. Yes, we'll, and we'll have a great birthday episode. For exactly. Sure. Ooh. We'll do the tiny mic. Uh, we'll do the oh, yeah. tiny mic series and everything. Yes, that'll be great. Absolutely. Well, thanks for tuning in to another episode of The Pleasure is All Yours. Follow us on Instagram. Follow us on TikTok. Um, subscribe to our YouTube. Email us. Talk to us. Whatever. You get it, bitch. We love you. Bye. 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 Bye.